What up, guys? I'm to hear more. And I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scared? Yes, sir. What you trying to do today, to hear? We hey, didn't... man. Well, first off, let me let the people know. Uh, Patreon is up and going. Oh, so yes. if you want to get early access to all the episodes, you want to get early access to discount codes. Well, not even early access. You just want to get discount codes to merch. Also, discount codes to our live shows. Make sure you sign up for the Patreon right now. And we have the t-shirts out right now. The official damn internet. You scare it. When they come out and they get shipped to you, they won't have the end on them. I'll take care of that. Don't worry about that. But those are out right now, so make sure you grab one of those. Uh, Patrick, we got a special guest in the house. Your boy, Gumby. Yeah. I do not know the order that I'm going to release these in yet, but uh, if this is your first time on the show, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. We say that because we did the interview with Gumby, and our Patreon mm-hmm. uh, uh, subscribers will get that probably first and possibly only. So if you want to see what the interview is like, because a lot of craziness ensued, make sure you sign up for Patreon. We got a $5 level, $10 level, $15 level. You can go ahead and spend whatever you want to. Yes, sir. Uh, We definitely appreciate it because we don't have jobs. This is our job, guys. I guess we do have jobs. This is our job. This so is it. This helps us keep this the, is end, it. Uh, the podcast going. So we definitely appreciate all the subscribers. Shout out to all the damn internet, you scary Patreon subscribers. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Uh, Gumby is to the left. We're about to kick off another episode. What are we starting with, man? Are we doing the? Are we doing a song? Yeah, that's that. That would be a good place to start. Okay, uh, we did rock. We All did right, uh, so you you kind of saw how we do the the, the song. Give mm-hmm. us throw us a genre. What genre are you trying um, to see us do the damn see. internet you scary theme song to? Damn internet you scary. There's so many songs. Let's um. Just like a genre, you know how we did rock and roll last yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. What rock? What, what, what would you want to see us do genre wise? Let's do, um, let's do elevator music. Elevator I know it's not a genre, music. but okay. no, I'm here for it. I've never heard lyrics on elevators, but uh, you want to do beat a song? I don't know. I do the beat. I I've never I got one in mind. In mind. I've never heard uh, lyrics in okay, an elevator, so yeah, let's let's go for it. That's the beauty of it. It was it's it's unpaved <laughs> roads, unpaved uh, roads. Well, we have an amazing episode of Damn Internet You Scary coming up. A lot of weird stuff going on on the internet as usual. Yeah. But I'm gonna start off with a hits joint fact. Ooh. And here's it's kicking out the gate. Out the gate, okay. I saw a tweet that said that is water's flavor just its temperature? Wait. That's what? Right. That's that's Fred talking business. Hey, we can hear you, nigga. Roll it, it. <laughs> Is water's flavor just his temperature? Like warm water has a taste, lukewarm water has a taste, and cold water has a taste. So is water's flavor just the temperature? That's kind of fucked up, man. My it? mind's blown. Yes, yeah, is. yeah. I think. I mean, I guess in the way we like socially equate it, like the connotations. Of, okay. Yeah, yeah. Water well, does taste different when it's cold. Oh my god, it's the best thing in the world. Exactly, but it's when it's hot, but like when I it's, taste yeah. the hot water right now. And yeah, it's yeah. Like, tea, but like, yeah, hot water is tea. Yeah, but even like you ever left like a water bottle in the car or something? Yeah, and then you try to drink well, the it. The plastic, you're... the plastic gives it another taste. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. The plastic Whatever gives it you have taste. it in the receptacle. But is that uh, why you guys hate Arrowhead? Does it have to do with the plastic? The Arrowhead just tastes it's, like yeah, it's Arrowhead. got dirt in it. Period. It's like their filtration system is just dirt. I mean, it's it's, it's, techni- it's technically clean. Like you can ingest it, but it's right. like yeah. You there have are, options. Why there are better. There are options 
It's 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do you guys do bottled water? Do you guys do the Brita filter? Like, what's your water? I only do bottled water. Okay, same. Yeah. You right. want to go out to eat, it's always bottled water. Uh, if they don't have a filtration uh, system in place, I'll just get right. flat or sparkling water whenever I go out to eat. Okay. Right. Same. Mm -hmm. I try to do it. I try to bring my own bottle of, like, filtered water. If not, um, I try to get, like, at least a gallon of something, like, you know what I'm saying, every few days, just because in LA it's like really dry here, you know? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like, if, if, you're, if you're from either the Midwest or the East, you understand waking up with morning dew mm -hmm. on like, you know, so you understand like, we have dew out here in the yeah. West. You understand moisture. <laughs> <laughs> we so, got dew. It, yeah, so, bro, sometimes we don't. If you if you don't have chapstick, you can't survive out here. Like it's dry out here. It's yeah, dry. That's true. It's so dry. Leaving your I, chapstick will leave you very very it's like dry. inconvenience. So. I've actually been drinking more warm water and hot hot, hot water with my food because they mm. say it helps the digestive tract. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. No, it does. Like, it, it, like, what does because, cold water do? Well, anything cold like it's slowing down the process. Like that's why you freeze things. Like um, if, like okay, so meat's already dead, right? When you're eating it, right? When you freeze it, you're slowing the process of it rotting, basically. So that's why you freeze it, and then when you heat it up, you're either you're speeding up the molecule, molecules, and so it basically comes back to life in a sense. So like when it, the colder it is, the the closer it is to death. You know, so you're saying that like steak while it's alive it's is steak. delicious. I mean, probably, yeah. If, if we could eat, like, raw steak um, and, like, if we could ingest that, like, our enzymes would allow it, it probably is absolutely delicious depending on whatever it is you eat. I'm never going to take a bite of a cow. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. okay. I'm yeah, 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 I'm okay. Right right I might I'll never know that. Now. I, but, I mean, <laughs> but, again, but then again, like, but then again, it's probably, as far so as it taste goes. when it's alive? As far as this taste goes, like, um... Like we, we season everything because yeah. meat tastes like like Shit. flesh like tastes like flesh like flesh. I don't know. Like Do y'all know what the raw like animal tastes like? Because since I was born, chicken and all these meats were like would, heavily seasoned. You would just taste the blood probably if you just you, tasted it like that. You have I was talking to somebody scratch. who was a vegan and she was saying uh, that every food that we eat is always seasoned with vegetables because most season grows from a plant. Mm -hmm. She's like that's why veganism and vegan and vegetarianism is so important because everything we eat would be seasoned with the vegetable for the most part. Vegetable because all root. seasonings are vegetables. Vegetables are roots. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's actually very really. That's very. And nobody eats. I mean, I'm sure there are some people Salt, that eat peppers, seasoned, oregano, unseasoned parsley. chicken, unseasoned steak, and stuff like that. Like naked and afraid when they be like they catch like a snake or a fish and they be eating it like just completely unseasoned. I'd be like. Ugh. I mean, but I guess if you're starving, if you're starving, yeah, if you're all naked and afraid, if like, yeah, if it's survival for sure. But yeah. like, and when you have options, there are people, there are people who still eat unseasoned chicken. There are but people have who you, still. Have you guys ever like, like, let's say, cooking. let's say you have a set seasoning for every time you season chicken. Mm -hmm. So let's say you use like some type of pepper, uh, Adobo, some type of salt, Lowry's, and, Lowry's, you know and then like some that. extra thing like garlic powder or something. You know, if you pepper, season yeah, that yeah, chicken yeah, yeah. that way your whole life, yeah. I feel like if you were to go to any other meat and season it that same way, it would taste similar, right? In a sense. No, no, because I think beef has a different, not only taste, but consistency right. than chicken and same thing. Like if you ever, eat, if you ever ate a turkey burger and a, and a beef burger, I'm just be honest with you. Turkey burgers give me a different type of burp. You taste it you, in the burp. Do you like turkey burgers? I will eat one, but I prefer mm. beef. And on all aspects? No, just because the, the turkey gives me a burp. Turkey always gives me a burp. What about like the ribs? Burgers. Only the burgers, huh? What about ribs? Uh, I will prefer beef. I mean pork ribs. Beef ribs are good. They just they just don't taste the same, man. Mm. The same with bacon? Oh yeah. Turkey you want, bacon? You want, you want pork, pork Turkey bacon, bacon pork Beef bacon. Beef bacon, sure. I mean, uh, uh, pork bacon is raw sex. Turkey <sighs> bacon is sex, but with a strong ass That was so on. harmfully accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> And, it is absolutely and I, protected. And I grew up in the house with my mother. God bless her soul. She's still alive. But God bless her soul. She um, she raised us in like soy, rice, and like water. Like like we she she let us know what it was, but we she never brought red meat in the house. Never brought yeah. alcohol in the house. None of that. Wow. So I had to go to school and like force myself to eat this stuff and then come home like low key sick. But after like a month or two of doing that, I'm like, I can I can eat ice cream now. I can like eat burgers yeah. now. But like wow. having that experience, man, of like finally getting like pork bacon, I was just like it's different, bro. 
Pork bacon. Is, I was like, this shit will definitely is, kill me. It like, definitely kill It's beautiful you though. Like, oh day. my god. This... Oh shit. Did we introduce the guests? Yeah, I thought we, we did. did. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I thought we did. I thought we did. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's let's get Pork into the bacon. internet then, man. The internet's got some crazy things. This particular story I've been waiting to talk about for weeks. Mm-hmm. A teenager actually suffered blindness after eating just nothing but fries, chips, and white bread since he was a child. I blame the parents. How are you not going to make them eat no vegetables? He the, just refused. The first thing that came to mind was... If you poor, you should have had ramen somewhere in your diet, so you're rich. You think that <laughs> so would have helped? So why is your diet like this? Like, I don't understand. I don't it does sound it. like some rich shit. So he was, in the, he was white in the bread? UK. Who afford white bread? This was an English dude. Oh, okay. Uh, he, he was only 14. Oh, my goodness. And he went blind as a result of eating a diet consisting of french fries, chips, and white bread. Uh, and he was only in an elementary school. So you're right. It was the parents' fault because mm, I thought this was like some high school stuff. Nah. Uh, but yeah, he was diagnosed with macrocytic anemia and a vitamin b12 deficiency oh wow i didn't know that if you didn't have vitamin b12 you'd go blind um but i'm for sure gonna start taking those supplements (laughs) Um, it says he was prescribed supplements and he didn't start taking the vitamins or change his diet Mm. causing his condition to get worse and then he went blind which is nuts he said that all he did was eat pringles white bread and ham, <laughs> no fruits or vegetables, and uh, yeah, that's the, nah, that's really now you was asking for, bro. yeah, that's not was asking for. All right, so this little kid was only 14 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said that he was uh, complaining of feeling tired, and then he was diagnosed with macrocytic anemia and a vitamin B12 deficiency. Uh, he said he was prescribed supplements, which he didn't take. Because he was 14, like you said, parents' fault, uh, and his condition got worse, ultimately leading to him going blind. Uh, He lost most of his vision, and it said that his diet was basically chips uh, from the local fish and chip shop every day, and uh, like Pringles, sometimes slices of white bread, occasionally slices of ham, never any fruits and vegetables, and it said that uh, he said that he didn't like certain textures of food. And he couldn't tolerate it. So he just did chips and fries. And that was it. And wow. that nigga can't see anymore. He says he wasn't overweight or underweight. He was just like malnutritioned. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't even know that shit could happen from right? the eating right. Imagine hearing that horror story as a kid. You would eat. Right. That's <laughs> what would have made us eat vegetables. But again, Everybody. again, at the end of the day, it's like you said, it's the parents' fault in a big way in our generation because like a balance. Honestly, even if you don't really know what to feed your kid, a mm-hmm. balanced right. diet. It's that simple. Like greens. Another color. Like, just just get it together. <laughs> you know? so, like, get it together. Like, even if you don't know, like wheats and like, you know, just come on. We got this. That's all bad. That's crazy. Bro, he can never see another Marvel movie. (laughs) That was funny after he could never see. He will will never see Black Panther 2. And that's that's what's even crazy. I'm so mad at you. Niggas going to be in Doctor Strange here in the wild and shit. Like, what happened? (laughs) I I can't explain it. (laughs) it (laughs) Remember that hand thing they do? They're doing it. But it's in front of a vortex. (laughs) They can put two cities... Uh, on top of each other. The multiverse is enclosing on itself. <laughs> you can't describe. Oh, try, uh, try to explain like the the fi- a fight scene in Doctor Strange to a blind person. No, Jesus. It's oh, like uh, he opened a portal. He he punched through it, and then his fist came out another area and hit uh-huh. his. Um, mm-hmm. No, I, I'm sorry. You just Explain. gotta sit this one out, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was so close. Sit. I feel like it was so close. Right. There's, there's also there's always Daredevil. Fuck! <laughs> 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 you know. Hey, y'all are horrible human beings, bro. You nope. Know. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. You know. But again, I blame the parents, man. Sure. Y'all gotta exert some force with these kids sometimes, man. They are I, not. Parents, they're not your equal. They're your children. They're your offspring. They're yes. your children. You tr- you train them. Teach them where to go, what to do. They'll be friends with your kids. <laughs> What's wrong with you? How do you just say that's okay to what your kids eating? Like, that is... 
Because it's not. It's wild. Pringles and fries. And then it's like when you talk about, like, he wouldn't take the supplements. He was 14. What supplements were y'all trying to take it for? What else does he have to do? What what else do you think is more important than listening to to your parents? Like, what you thought you was about to do? You better take these supplements. Hold up. In the back of your head. That's what's sad. That's all bad. No, he uh, he just he just can't see, like Ooh. every. I wonder if it's reversible. I wonder if he can get enough vitamin B twelve and enough like if he of... can do supplements and then get yeah. it back. I mean, the human body is a, pri- a crazy place. I feel like if you looked into like Chinese medicine, they they know how they know every herb. Far They'll be Eastern like, medicine. you take this fucking root. Far if you superior. eat this root in a tea every day, you can grow your foot back. Like they're just like that in tune <laughs> the whole foot. with everything, the whole just the entire thing. I think Chinese medicine can serve any 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 problem. Any ailment, huh? Uh, right. But yeah, I think that uh, the goal is do not let uh, your yeah. kids eat chips. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Um, the Pringles are fire. Is once you, Pringles are super fire. They say once you pop, the so, fun don't stop. You know. Yeah, you, but here's, you know the fucked up thing about, here's the fucked up thing about chips. To the physical touch, they're not different. So like if you're blind, you don't know what bag of chips. You don't know what thing of Pringles. Nah, you know if you got Doritos and you know if you got Pringles because they're curved. You have to open the, the bag though. But the, but the, the packaging. Can. That's what I'm saying. All okay, the cans okay. are the same. Sour cream feels the same as original. Uh. So if you blind. You don't know what chip you But about nothing to eat. is like salt and vinegar, just wonder, so we can clear that up. With I Pringles? It. I've never you had Pringles. They got salt and Pringles, but they also got salt and vinegar, yo. I, Pring- I love salt and vinegar, but I've never Lay's had Pringles. salt and vinegar are. Lay's salt and vinegar might be king. I'm not going to lie. Lay's salt and vinegar. You eat too many, though. They'll start like, yeah. roughing up the top of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, Lay's, that's what they are. Oh my God. They'll rough up the top of your mouth. I thought it was just me. Lay's salt and vinegar, I like that. I feel like Lay's made the salt and vinegar color blue. You know how now you see like yeah. salt and vinegar for some reason they use because it's blue? so good. Nobody has. Nobody <laughs> they else, gotta do a blue. They got nothing to do. They with monopolized the color. it. They monopolized the flavor, so you guys. It's because it's, it's so a good. standard now. Okay. Okay. Now that okay, that I said. It's just standard now. I uh, <laughs> I haven't had a carb in almost two weeks. Oh keto. Yeah, and I am Jesus crazy. Christ. Oh, oh cr- man. Uh, yeah. Chips are carbs. Yeah, chips are carbs. Oh, uh, beer is carbs. Potatoes. Yes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Anything potatoes. Potato, yep. Yeah. Chips are thin potato I can't slices. have any fruits right now. Damn, so what amazing. are you eating? Wait, no fruits. I eat vegetables and I eat lean meat. Fruits are carbs? Okay. Because well, sugar breaks sugar. down into carbs. It gives you energy. So wow, you I can't, can't have, have any, candy? any no candy. No candy. No sh- no uh, sugar, only water. Usually no alcohol. Um Jesus. So where does whiskey fall into that? Tell oh, me that's just me cheating. Oh, okay. That's so that's carbs. Cheating. Yeah, because okay. it got some sugar in it. Okay. Yeah, um, I, there's a lot of stuff I can't That's eat good right though. Now. Congrats. Yeah, I heard yeah, the keto diet is it's, it's really about the discipline. Like if you can just stick to it, it's not even about like shit, going mean, hard. Just sticking yeah, to it. Like yeah. if you can stick to it, it'll pursue. Even from results. what I've heard so far, like yeah, I, I see how that loses weight. You can't, <laughs> you like, can't eat anything. I have basically. coffee every day, but with keto, I have to have my coffee with butter. With wait with butter because I can't have any creamer because the creamer has sugar in it. So you just put a thing of a dollop of uh, butter in your pocket. Dollop of butter and then I just That's stir it up. What kind of, or, uh, almond milk. What kind of I fish? hope you're kidding. Nope, I'm not. I'm not kidding at all. It's all about hot. That's like coffee and butter. I thought. See, and I'm. A, I like Ooh. sweet. I like weird what? sweet sweet shit. But like it's coffee and butter. Coffee and butter. Butter all. coffee. Bro, that sounds wild. What? Not, not <laughs> so like, your like, Why not just hit it black? Oh, I mean, I do. Most times, I just drink it black. Butter coffee. Right? That is sounds wild. That don't sound safe, play. I mean, if no, if, it's not I safe. I cook everything with butter and everything. That's cool. I, I I feel cooking everything with butter. I feel cooking bad. everything yeah. with but butter like, is great. Butter coffee. I'm just like drinking yo, butter. I've never in my different. life. I'm just just trying to think about it. Like like imagine you just put butter in your water, right? <laughs> it's just like I need something here because coffee is essentially like bean water, right? So if you just put <laughs> butter. <in your> water, <laughs> It's called it's coffee like, bean water. Oh, imagine how disgusting that is. You know what's disgusting? Yeah. Drinking black eyed bean water. Yeah. That's, you just called it Ooh. bean water. Butter bean water. Coffee's That's bean water, if you think about it. Oh my god. Butter yeah. bean water. Oh butter my god. Water. Yeah, man. It's not, it's, That's not, it's that's not as sound exciting fun. as you think. But I'm going to look good come January. So that's what I'm doing. That does for. not sound fun. But it's not. diets aren't fun. It's, it's not. The more fun the diet, I'm sure the less effective it is. See, for me, it's like I have to. When I come off of this, I have to 
slowly come off of it because like my fear is like coming off of it and then going back to eating the regular stuff. And it makes you sick. Just, mm. Oh no, it just blows you right back up. Mm. So everything you did was like for nothing. Cause like if I go back and just start eating sandwiches just like crazy, all that carb and all, uh, and it'll just fill you. Do you right have back like a physical tree? outlet, like jogging? I work, no, I, I work out like okay. five times a week. Oh, oh, for sure. Okay, yeah, you're yeah, good yeah. then. Yeah, that usually helps it because once your body gets used to feeling working out without those things in it, it knows what to draw from. So yeah. it, it won't crave it as much. It's like, I already know what That's I know dope. what I need to make this happen. My yeah. body don't know what to draw from. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, well, I need another McDouble. <laughs> Can we get energy out of this? I'm gonna McDonald's immediately. You gonna finish that honey bun? Chicken strips? Okay. Can we get anything? From I you? miss pizza so much right oh, now. Oh man! I can't even tell you how much I do. Sure. I Thank would fuck around and order a pizza and just scrape the toppings off because I can eat the cheese, the meat. And I stuff. might order. I, I might eat pizza today just because you said that. Oh fuck you! Foolish. <laughs> I gotta run around something though. I'm getting fat. <laughs> I can see the belly coming in. <laughs> Foolish. I Yo, I got a I high key got an ab workout if you I can send it to you on your phone, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's okay. We ain't gonna do that shit. Nah, I'm gonna send it to you. No, it's okay because like, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. If it's if it's less than like eight nope. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you do ten, if you do ten per per, per part, probably like send me that. Only ten. I'm about though. to be Twenty four hour fitness has when a I'm, good app, and Nike Trainer Club has a good app. That's what I work out with. When okay. I'm ripped, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna put, oh, yeah, I have put the fitness. microphones I the app. on my abs. I'm going to the gym. You say what, <laughs> nigga? What did you just say? When I am ripped from uh-huh. this workout, the microphones that we use are going to be placed on my abs. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. We're, nope. We're sure. And we're both gonna we're both going we're to talk going into on. my ab my ab mics. No, we not. Uh, That's... <laughs> not. Let me tell you what we're not gonna this do. Guy, right? yeah. Not gonna have any of these microphones anywhere near Boom. your abs. So trust Thank and believe. You, Just got the workout plan. Y'all this follow my in- Instagram story. I'm gonna it be varies posting. by color. I'm about to be posting workout this videos. Workout plan. Nope. And as such. It, it, I got, I got, I got something like that, it. but he now, got it. He got it. Nike and Twenty Four Hour Fitness. That's all I need. I'm good. And then my trainer. So. True. Oh, if you got a trainer, you good. Yeah, right? yeah, I, I don't got a whole trainer. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I got. I had not, zero for three of those. Um, okay, I'm glad we're on the subject of food because mm-hmm. uh, to hear I know you're a germaphobe. I don't know how you feel about uh, just weird or sus looking stuff. Nah, I, come I wanted from to show you a f- really had it like that, so <laughs> you gotta get used to it. I wanted to show you a photo that was taken. Um, I don't know what it, what city this was in, but somebody went into a liquor store and took a photo of one of the options that you can buy. And I wanted to let you guys uh, ask you guys: Would you buy <laughs> personally bagged <laughs> chips? You see that these are Cheetos, popcorn. No. Would you guys ever buy if it was significantly marked off personally bagged chips? That's that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I Thank would you. I would I would take it up to the front and really ask questions like why did you think like? But you <laughs> know, at some point they reached into a bag of hot Cheetos, pulled it out. Oh, for it. sure, they could have just like uh, just dumped it in there. They, shoot, someone could have peed on it. They could have done anything. You don't know they what could have happened. Did anything. Someone could have someone could have spat in it, closed it up, and walked away. Like, you don't know. Exactly. If I don't have much money, I'm gonna do it. You gonna buy it? I'm gonna do it if I don't have a lot of money. Oh, okay. So that's. I'm not even gonna buy. It. That, I'm gonna that, just take them and walk away. So you what you gonna it. say? I mean, at this point, if I don't have much money, I'm gonna just walk away because this can't be legal anyway. You can't be. Come on, bro. This, this, yeah, it's definitely not legal. You got the Cheetos next to your fake that's Cheetos. That's crazy. Bro. So I'm you're saying out. that even if the cops were called, they'd be like, he stole a baggie of a baggie popcorn. Of- I I got this from home. What you talking about? Like, what yo, you, yo, key. Like, you know what? what you know what they it looked did? like that. They probably did it because the chips were past the sale date, and they're like, and they're these are still like, good. These are still good, but no one's gonna buy it if it says April. Yeah, <laughs> obviously it's July. <laughs> so I'm go ahead and put these in a ziplock. <laughs> that is 100 percent what happened. Because why <laughs> else would you do that? And here's the thing, though. Mm. Low key, though, in that Ziploc bag, that bag looks hella full. Normally, when you buy a bag of chips, you get 30 percent. Yeah, that's probably three bags and one. That, that shit. That's probably that three was bags and one full. Ziploc. That's true. I'm pulling the trigger on it. That's right, so, true. So the real question is: Would you take either a fresh? Two quarter, two thirds bag of Cheetos, or would you take a, a stale expired three bags worth of Cheetos? I'm taking, a, I'm taking a stale one. 
I'm taking the power expired, and you don't know until you buy yeah. it, and that's yeah. your yeah. problem. And you don't know because you know, like even in your own home, it could be rock hard. You can grab some cereal or some chips and and throw a mouthful in and be right. like, "Ugh, what happened?" Yeah. And then there's some that you're like, "These are kind of stale, but I can make it work." Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you don't it's have that insight. Hard. Beforehand, so it's like to pay mm-hmm. and then reach into a baggie of popcorn and then but be you like, said oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> wait, wait, did y'all ever put hot sauce on your popcorn? I did mustard, yeah. so I know both. that that's whoa, not weird. Whoa, whoa, both. whoa, both. I've done what both. The no, 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 fuck? I've done wait, both. You see how, wait, 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 you see the logical person out of us two? I did one of the two and I, I felt him, you know what I mean? Like, I never had hot sauce, but I was just like, I did something weird too. I could see how that might work. You just sh- shot my shit down. Cause Kendrick. I've never heard of that. You've obviously Must heard of hot, hot sauce. On no, never. Head. Really? No, no but I feel like it's kind of the same. You've obviously heard of it. You've never heard of that? I've but never I get heard it. Of- I, I just put hot Muscle. sauce in everything. So like, but I, I like flavors, so I feel you. I like spicy flavors. I, I like. I don't agree mustard, with much. So I really fuck with that. But hot sauce goes on everything. Fuck yeah. what you heard. So yeah, for sure. Like yeah, I'm hot sauce on that. popcorn and hot sauce on plain Lay's chips. Fire as fuck. Never heard of mustard. Yeah, ever done? Y'all ever the like little takis thing? Lace chips. But they got like the takis yeah. chips, yeah. and they put like the hot sauce, and they crush it up, and like they put like some like. Some oh, that's shit that's in a it. that's a wet shit. Wait, yeah. that's, that's yo, that's a, that sounds uh, like a wet shit. Well, I, I, people, shit. I've seen some people like I used to live in Compton for about a year, right? Uh-huh. Like, I was trying to get my bread up and like move back up to the valley. Like it was, yeah. I, I have I have eaten some gourmet meal, gourmet meal, gourmet meal, Seven Eleven out the corner store t- combination. Ah! I'm um, like, yo, this <laughs> shit is crack. Like, have you been... Son, I don't um, know. I you, don't know. Have you dined in prison? <laughs> have you been to prison? <laughs> I, like, <laughs> like, like I said, like I said, I lived in Compton for a year, yo. Like, it's wondering. a great place. It's, it's a prisoner in this house. They're, they're, they're all, the community is, is bellowing down hey, here. Hey, let's go. Bring your ass over here. But at the no. same time... <laughs> At the same time, your environment it teaches you how to survive. So, uh, yo, niggas get they was, out. They was giving me the swole chips. But so here's the other thing: it. niggas get out of prison and talk just like that. <laughs> so, All more with the Everything is delicious when you get out. To make noodles, <laughs> ramen, uh, ramen noodles. Yeah. They would pour water in the bag of noodles. They would open it like a bag of chips and pour water in there. Uh huh. And then they would have to close it back up. And it's like a, it it's like a, like, it's like a heating just, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, just do it like that. They're geniuses. But they also would make pizzas like that. So what they would do is they would open the, the, the bag of noodles the same way, put a little water in there, and then put it on their pillow, and they would like loosen it up, and they would make the noodles into the dough. Then they would open it up, they would crack it down the middle so it opens like this, mm-hmm. and they would put uh, ketchup on there. They use ketchup, peanut butter, jelly. And when they it. open it, it kind of like steamy it a little bit, right? Well, no, not steamy. It, You're I like, mean, no. Ain't nobody that big. <laughs> I guess I saw the <laughs> upgraded what version. Is this? Not a <laughs> character. Well, King Kiron showed me a bunch of prison meals. Yeah. And then I and then I started like researching it because there's like a lot of things in between the meals that you're talking about and like the alcohol that they make and yeah. just like the little subsistence. Niggas in prison are smart. Yo, when I worked in the y'all jail, niggas are geniuses. This dude used to make spiders out of toilet tissue. What's and a spider? Went, like a spider, like an actual like a, like a like a model spider. spider. Oh, as a like yeah. an art. Yeah, mm. and just and make it all the toilet, and they would be about probably about this big. Okay. And he would make like the web. He would hang them from like webs, and the web was taken from the thread from their clothing. But then he would dip like coffee on them to like give them color. Mm. Like he would take like the ground up coffee, and he would like he would put a little water on it. And he would paint it like that. The shit looks so real. Like wow. never in my life have I seen that type of creativity. I was like, bro, when you get out, you can literally take a hundred dollars, buy a thousand rolls of toilet tissue, mm. right, and sell this shit on Hollywood Boulevard, and you would be set. Like that's how dope mm. it would be. Art Towards shines the- through any that's situation. Oh my god, they, you any sell situation. for twenty dollars. Imagine using a third of a, a roll of toilet tissue to make twenty dollars. But it's also like once Jeez. he gets out, his resources expand too. So oh, he doesn't right. even have to. He doesn't have to stick to uh, toilet papers, and he he can just take that talent. But and why apply would it you and not? Apply. Why would you not? If toilet tissue is all it takes to do it, and it still comes out looking dope, uh-huh. why would you not stick to toilet tissue? Save I mean, the money over over here. I would just say for business purposes, like if they probably sold it to another. Prisoner, it might fall apart in a little bit as opposed to something. Yeah, that but you, you ain't gonna try it. to get it wet. You gonna do everything you can to protect it from getting wet. Uh, yeah. 
You'd that's be good. tight. That's dope. That's mm. super you tight. You sell that shit on the table. You don't even need a booth. You can be one of those like super high class kind of like artists who just has your stuff in your gallery in your city. You have to come to Paris to come and see the toilet tissue. You gotta you know come to saying? Hollywood. Like to you get have the to come. Right. That'd be tight. Like, you have white people in Paris buying your jail tissue. <laughs> yo, I shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's and, tight. And they put it in glass and, and case it yeah. in glass right in the top of the Gucci store. Like, That's boom. Right there. The little, the little I don't know spider. If, I'm not sure if I'd buy a, you know, prison toilet tissue spider. But, I mean, I gotta see it. If you saw this motherfucking Pat, yo, because he was making them for the guards, too. He was making them for the guards. Oh, the guards they are like, nigga, I'm not even trapped like, here. And I want one of That just goes to show you, man. Like, I mean... Use your power for good. Right, that part, and, and try not to make it it's too racial. Um, it's it's an awesome thing to see humans come up with um, creativity out of nowhere. That's, that's usually what I'm and then, that's usually what happens when we're pushed to the brink. When it comes to that point of like either no return or like you have nothing but the things, the tools in front of you, we make magic every single time. Don't matter what every situation, art yeah. shines through, which is crazy. These niggas were in prison, just like mm, every single time. Let me take this toilet tissue and see what's we'll yeah. see what's up. It was dope, man. It was a great experience. There's also a lot of rape in prison. So there is also dance. a lot of rape. Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, yeah. maybe a little, yeah. you know, don't toy spider. Yeah. Toy, toy spider would cheer me up. Yeah. yeah so I'll just encourage uh, not going there. Super so. weird. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that brings us to the final segment. Every segment of the show, we have a little conspiracy. Nice. You know what I mean? mm, okay. Just My to, favorite topic. Just to poke at the dark web. Uh, so today we are talking about chemtrails cue the conspiracy music huh. chemtrails what are they doing are they controlling the weather are they controlling our minds and what are the government doing oh oh what are the government doing what are they oh oh what is the government doing chemtrails in the air and they are flying up above us what the fuck and what the fuck are they doing hey yo hey yo Chemtrail was left like an hour ago and it's still there. Whoa, whoa, that should have been gone somewhere else. Whoa, 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 hey, that shit should have been gone. Are they controlling our weather? Uh, are they controlling our mind? Are they controlling Heather? <laughs> I ain't gonna keep going for as long as you did. Are they controlling Heather? Are they controlling the weather? <laughs> Ah, making light of uh, stuff that could be horrible. Shout for this special episode. <laughs> <laughs> Super special episode. Oh, Super man. Special, extra right. special. So last week we actually talked about uh, chemtrails chem yep. and what are they. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know what chemtrails are, but you guys have most likely seen them. So chemtrails <laughs> have been a conspiracy, a conspiracy theory forever. <laughs> Uh, you know what conspiracy is? Yes. You've heard of this? Yes. Can, can show, no, it's just funny because you were like, I don't know if you guys know what chemtrails are, but you've probably seen them. No, you've That's probably true. seen them because if, if their conspiracy is true, they've been controlling what you've been thinking for the past few years. Yeah. So, uh, a plane will fly past and leave some like white, fluffy clouds or whatever, you know? And science is saying that this is just the travel through moisture, it's how high they are, and it leaves this little white thing, uh, but uh, technically those things should disappear right away. But this chemtrail theory evolved from planes flying by and these streaks being left for hours. Sometimes they're like deep crimson colored, you know what I mean? It's just really, really weird. People have taken videos and chem um, pictures of chemtrails forever. Uh, so, you know, this, the theory is based on the belief that long-lasting condensation trails are chemicals consisting of chemical or biological agents left in the sky by high-flying aircrafts, and they're spraying for purposes that are undisclosed to the public. So the believers think that this is anything from uh, weather modification, psychological manipulation, mm -hmm. human population control, biological or chemical warfare, uh, this is causing respiratory illnesses and other health problems. So it's like, there's this huge split, you know what I mean? People think that, yeah, it's just science, these are just what planes leave behind, and then there's other people that think that it could be any number of these things. Have you guys, like, uh, heard of this? Or? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. I am a total conspiracy fan, Perfect. buff, whatever you want to call it. Like, first, first things first, a conspiracy is only a conspiracy because we don't know if it's fact or fiction. Let's go ahead absolutely. and start there. Um, people always try to debunk things, but, like, let's start with the fact that we don't 
no or we can't or for whatever reason we can't come to the consensus with all the technology and resources that we have we just mm-hmm. can't come to a consensus which is weird because we know how an atom works so True that. <laughs> um, True that. So, um, so that being said, when it comes to chemtrails, I am a wholehearted believer that um, everything, any, anything that leaves carbon monoxide or like any like odorless or gasless or colorless gas is dangerous to humans. Honestly, because we can, so we survived on this planet before coal emissions, before the industrial age, which was what all of this is. Like we survived absolutely fine before it. So all of this shit is for sure killing us. For for goddamn sure. But outside of that, um, as far as like mind control goes, I think I think there are other things out here doing mind control. Weather modification is an actual patent in the 1960s. Look it up. America has the patent for fucking weather modification. That's why if you move to LA, you will always hear me talk about the fact that yo, um, I don't think that the weather here is normal. I think the weather. I think LA is a construction, and its weather is the same thing. I'll even go personally so far to say that I think there's a dome here above LA, and same like with like Vegas and other places because it doesn't make it just doesn't make sense. But whoa, what? Yeah, yeah. So so it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a rabbit hole. Some facts. It's Wait, a rabbit hole. Like... But I, I believe chemtrails. They do for sure. Um, even if you don't believe like they do like the whole mind, the whole like brain you know, matter melting and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I believe they do exist because it, does, it doesn't make sense for us to, to know that these things that we put in, in our bodies, in our food, let alone our, tra- our transportation devices, are, are not the healthiest for us. Like, we know this. So yeah, We know that. We know this. Like, why, why, why beat around the bush? Yeah, but I mean, I think that's, a, that's an interesting connection because I, I feel like the casual person thinks of, like, oh, this truck is emitting a lot of, like, toxic gas, gases or this plant is emitting a lot of gases but then if you think of like oh that's adding to it all of these things are adding to it you mm-hmm. know like that makes this theory a lot more believable actually for me because i always try to stay neutral mm-hmm. uh what do you think um i don't know man like i'm i'm so torn on this one right here um because like they say that I remember one time I saw this truck and I was back in East St. Louis mm-hmm. and it, it came through the neighborhood and it's sending out the spray stuff and it was supposed to control mosquitoes. Oh yeah, and pesticides for sure. Yeah, and then I, like the chemtrails, I remember reading that it was just the moisture and the altitude of the plane is ripping through the clouds and that's what left the truck. But I feel the same way you do, like it should have left like hours ago, like why is it still up there? Mm-hmm. It's been up there for an hour. Like, right. Still so, super prominent and yeah, just standing I, there. I, I, just, I, just, I just don't know, but if it, this was going to be my question. I was going to pose to both of y'all. If you could find out all the truths Mm-mm. and the secrets of the world, but you could never tell a soul, Mm-mm. and the moment that you tried to tell somebody, you would drop dead, would you nope, want to know? Nope, I'd drop dead the same day. <laughs> Think about that. Think about the fact that Obama aged 50 years. In the eight years that he was president, but every yeah, but that's that's yeah, stress. Every, I think I I I, I, I think every this president. is what I think. This is my theory. I think that Obama was a, a young and you know vibrant forty year old. And they were just like, you actually became president. Congratulations, President Obama. And they sat him down. They're just like, look. <laughs> what do you say about no, Area 51? No, but what that's what it is. Aliens, 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 aliens exist. They exist. Like, I they that. know for sure. Like, a thousand percent. Conspiracy. But to answer your Weather, question. Space. I, was just like, I think that's like low-key the gift of humanity. The fact that we don't know. The no. fact that we don't know five seconds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I feel like sure. if, if I could know. Me personally, at this point in my life. If I could know all the secrets. I would. I would. I would. But you could never tell anybody. You can tell them. I would. The moment that you try to tell somebody, they would like they they implant a chip in you. But so if you but say here's the my thing words, at some at some point at some point there has to be a, a gray line or a buffer because when it is discovered, then it becomes it becomes common knowledge. You know. Yeah. No, but fall. you it's not common knowledge. You just know. But, okay. Well, even so, like I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having all the knowledge. I'm okay. But here's the I thing. Here's I here's why I it think would be such a burden to bear. But I'm okay because I would. Here's I want why I to think know. you would I go crazy. I think that you think that you can just hold on to information, which I you might. No, for sure. No, no, no you probably. Might. I don't want you to get it twisted. It would definitely kill me for sure. I would but, definitely like lose the challenge. But, but what I'm I thinking want is the knowledge. I, I think that no, you're probably very secretive, and you can probably keep a secret, which is great. I can too. But what I'm thinking is beyond that. I feel like whatever you find out. You couldn't look somebody else in the face. I think it gets that bad to the point where it's just like, 
I have to tell you some of this, or like if, if you if you were told like this shit is over, like, <laughs> to, like in two days, <laughs> that cancer and AIDS were both man made, right? And you found out that they are, they are. there are monsters at the South Pole in Antarctica, and that's why nobody's allowed there. If you uh-huh. found out there it. is a spiritual or uh, supernatural effect around the uh, Bermuda Triangle, and that's why planes always come up. All off. that is over and there, the, though. I could keep right, that. I mean, I no, but I'm saying, I mean, but AIDS and cancer are here. Like, if you True. found out, like, nigga, they had a cure for cancer. They have. 70 years ago. But, but there's no money in the cure. You got to walk around with all that. That's fucked up. The only way I would be able to do that is if I never drank again in my life. Because the moment oh, I start hilarious. drinking and this conversation have like, <laughs> you guys want to hear some nigga. cool? Ooh. Right. Nigga. <laughs> right. What's up? My head is blown. That's it, right. <laughs> but that's not even the stuff I'm worried about. Because I feel like that's stuff we could already read on the internet and convince ourselves, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, the. I feel like the government has, like you said, um, the by the time Family Guy airs, it's nowhere near how the original script yeah. is. I think by the time conspiracy theories get to us, it's nowhere near what they are actually doing. So if you right. really found out everything, you'd probably find right. out some stuff that's just like crazy to the point where it's like if you had somebody that like in your family and it was just on some shit that's like oh yeah the world's ending like next week uh, that would be the shit that's and you gotta like, look your kids in the eye every day your wife or husband you can't in the eye nothing. and you can't say nothing what is ending in the week stuff I mean, like that it could be worse it could be like it's, you know, it's like, it no could it could like, be way worse it could, be, it, could, it could always be worse what if the, what if the government told you that there is an agent in every house but we they they mastered invisibility there's an agent watching you do every, like there's a nigga right there. Oh, he knows house. I'm a pervert. Right, I'm jacked up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right, but then I, you have I'm to. Like, well. It's that everyday shit that you have to walk around and be like, nigga, whoa! All this I ghost sh- shit was I an shit agent. With the door I, I, open. I, 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 all I, I, kinds I, I, of At that shit. point, what I would start doing is just like throwing darts randomly, like. Whoosh. But that that's a like, that's a form of telling. telling. Yeah, right for sure. But but when no one else is around though, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying they got a chip in your head. The agent has direct contact. He's you like, yo, I think this it. guy knows. He's he's displaying this. Right. Blow his ass up. Now your head is slow. Right. Mm-hmm. That's how your family right. had to come over. There's always someone and be watching. Like, the demons, like the, the the shit that would scare me though, would give me would be like the metaphysical stuff. And someone was like, okay, so the demons have been waiting for your death for the last five years. That one time, like that car accident, we were like this close. Imagine we were this close. Oh, like God, no, crazy. if you could see the aura around you, they're waiting for you. Hell they're is not only real, you. but right. the demons they're are actually waiting, waiting for in your house. Like your flesh. We want it. We want it. I would be like though. Damn. They in your wife's house. They in your kids' room. Right. They in all of that stuff, and you're just. Having We've to be been like, actively trying to dismember your family and disband your entire bloodline for like the past three generations. That's the we shit just I'm need you about. to he die. Like wrist. that's it. I don't know what we kind of watch need. he wears. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> that that kind of stuff a while like trip. Yeah, everything else I just be like, okay. I, what I really want right. to know is how the pyramids get got built. That's yeah. one of the things. We're inside. That we're, we're inside a test tube. Our entire life is is a is a um what's it called. Is it what's the scientifically word scientifically built or yeah. modified? Yeah. But I feel like that's the shit that I would want to know. Like, tell me the interesting shit. Like, yeah. li- leave all, all the right. weird shit out. How, how the pyramids get built? built? <laughs> what's the purpose of stone he- Stonehenge? Stonehenge. That's why uh, I think those are related. Yeah, the Mayan temples. Like, how do they build these right. big structures? You wanna? <laughs> no, I wanna know. You wanna? I want, you want I, an accurate history? I want the yes. So what's crazy is that you know a lot of uh, people who believe this theory went in and figured out that stuff like weather modification modification like you said mm-hmm. has a long history mm-hmm. so you know the these uh they used it in the soviet union in 1932 to make rain uh the chinese authorities used cloud seeding yes. uh to ensure the opening ceremony of the 2008 olympics wasn't fucked up weather wise you know uh, there's something called geoengineering, with, which is the deliberate intervention of the Earth's natural systems to counteract climate change. Um, and that's like an actual thing. So Obviously, they're not good at that because climate change has been destroyed. You think so? Destroy- what? Absolutely. Oh, no, no. They're, they're trying to battle climate change by okay. changing the weather. So, like, remember when we talked about Bill Foolish. Gates building that giant balloon to block the sun out? Mm-hmm. That's like some of the countermeasures. Okay. Uh, Absolutely, it's real. By Foolish. the way, Bill Gates is building a giant balloon. <laughs> to block this Thank you. For I'll, I'll, I'll watch this, this thing That's, on uh, Netflix on, called uh, The Weirdest Things in the World or on Earth or something like that. Uh-huh. I think it's in that Geo show. 
And they were talking about this guy who made these violins back in like, it's like the 1700s or something like that. Mm-hmm. And the wood that he used, so like, you know, you could tell how old a tree is by the rings. Right. Yeah. In the, the trunk. And right. you could tell how much the tree grew during how thick, uh, by how thick the rings are. Right. So like, if it's like smaller, then the tree didn't grow that much that year. But if it's thicker, then the tree grew a lot that year. Right. Well, this guy... Um, made these violins in the Appalachian Mountains. Oh, he got the tree, the wood from the trees in the Appalachian Mountains. And during the span, the sun or the earth kind of had like a a mini um, ice age. So the sun just wasn't emitting as much energy as it normally does, like it does today. Hmm. So these rings around the wood were very tightly packed. And it showed that the trees barely grew. And because mm. they were so dense, these violins made by this guy were the best and most valued violins in the world. Like wow. they go anywhere from like three million to fifteen million dollars. Because of the violin. wood was so rare. Because the right. wood is so rare and the wood is so dense, it emits a different type of sound than any other dope. violin. That's, in the fucking that's world. low key like that's magic. Beautiful, yeah, right? Like that's this, so this beautiful. And this violin never was, happened again. Probably. It was forged Man. from the like the most rarest trees of all time. Right. Yeah, that's like that's, magic. That's some super hipster shit. If I was rich, I'd pay for that. Yeah, yeah, if, it, yeah. if the sound was that, have you heard them? Yeah, they played it on the they played it on the show. Was it That's like noticeably tight. different? I, I, I'm not a music enthusiast. Right, I feel like right. a violinist would know. The violins, the violins would be music. like, right, what? right. Like, run that back, run that back. <laughs> Just jacking off. Like, what? Right. Play, slow. play happy birthday on it. Oh, oh, oh happy birthday! Oh, That's some sick shit. <laughs> so, as far as chemtrails, weather ma- manipulation has been proven to be a thing, but as far as psychological manipulation the fact that it could potentially be doing chemical warfare and giving people respiratory illnesses do you guys believe any of that yes um I, again i can't speak for like literal like plane trails thirty thousand feet in the air but has any okay my point has anyone heard the myth that there's fluoride in your water yes yeah Case that's why I stopped drinking tap water. Case in point. That's why fluoride you gotta use certain too, certain right? toothpaste, right? Because that and that's what fluoride does. And you gotta think about it. Your gums, there it's open sores. Your nose is an open cavity. You know what I'm saying? The things you ingest into your body go straight into your bloodstream, and that's your chemical comb. Your body is literally water and chemicals. Like that's your body. Like that's it. Mm. It's water and chemicals, and like boom, but that's it. So like whatever chemicals, whether it be medicine, whether it be the juices and sugars, like whatever you put into your body, it, your body has to recreate itself every day. So what you put into your body becomes a building block at some point. Mm-hmm. So like if, if you're constantly putting fluoride in your water or you're constantly putting the chemtrail stuff in your body, like you don't, you're not going to take it as a poison because it, your body is built on top of this. It's not going to see it as a poison. It's going to see it as something. It's pretty scary. That's, that's, but that's how your body My works. My dentist told to, me that fluoride was a byproduct of the industrial revolution. They just had random shit waste and they dumped it and they were just like, how can we make money out of this? So they marketed it as a healthy thing to put in into toothpaste. But if you actually right. looked it up, it's not good for your it's teeth at all. It's not good for your teeth. And I also heard it causes memory loss too. Mm-hmm. So when did a that ever become stuff. like a, a selling point? Like, mm-hmm. this has fluoride. Because capitalism, like, if you, look, wild. there's way more money in keeping someone sick and barely alive than killing you and paying for your funeral. Or if I could keep you alive for 60 years and have you coming into the doctor and you paying an extra 50000 a year for treatment, what? That's, you know how much money but, I'm getting on? That's you crazy alone? for you to to, to to convince the audience that they need that. Like, oh, and this this toothpaste is cool, but this toothpaste has fluoride. And here's the best part: the company that owns your doctor, they own the water that you drink, and they own the cemetery that you're going to be buried in. And as long as people keep dying, the cemetery is no longer, never going out of business. It's capitalism. It's capitalism. That's that was fucked good. up. You know, Arrow, <laughs> that Arrow, last Arrow, sentence was really Arrowmark, <laughs> the company that does like all the uniforms and stuff like that. They do all the washing. Yeah, they, they own jails. Yep, and they also provide the food for the jails. These companies be like in bed with like Bang. big capital and big, big corporate and big pharma. All of them, like they they are all intertwined and they all getting money from the right. same things. And then if you're a chef and you sell your thing to Aramark or whatever, and then that gets picked up in all the jails on the east end of the country, your your recipe, you know how much money you just made? 
Bill, almost a bit, millions. Bit, what? Recipes, bro. It's, it's, there's money. There's money. That's crazy. It's, shit to think about. This country is it's it's a, it's a it's a college of businesses. It's not even about the government. It's about the money here. That's America. Yeah, well, yeah, I can see that. The government is just to make sure that the businesses don't get out of hand. High key. <laughs> Pat's mind is. Blown. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mind is blown. Well, that was. Scary and it's enlightening uh, at the same time. That was fucked up. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So invest in water and invest in cemeteries. Let that be the note of the day. Yeah, me and my sister are literally trying to start, uh, not start, we're trying to uh, do a, a funeral home in St. Louis right now. Just looking for a building. Everybody dies, B. Your money, look. You would run it? No, I would, no. Just, I would fund would it. Own it, right. Own the land yeah. it's on or something. You I would know. own the business, own the land, own the bit. Building, but no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out mm. to that. That's wild. I mean, I can't. Yeah, people wild. die every day, B. That's why I couldn't be a doctor. I couldn't walk. I couldn't be like super rich with like three cars and three mansions and walking. You'd be like, hey, so you've got a week left. Like I couldn't do that for the rest of my life. Hey man, That's they not, got to find out one way or another. I mean, for sure, but I didn't want to be the guy. Like, Nobody does. In exchange for a boat, I'm okay. Like I'd much rather do I'll what take I the love. Boat. Yeah, I, my nigga. Because I mean, you're, you're, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you're getting you. you're getting the boat not to tell people they dying, but to hopefully tell the people like, oh, you're living because of me, and that's right. how I, that's why I have a boat. Hopefully, uh, yeah. But but, but 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 the facts are is that everyone does die. Yeah, living is the possibility. The fact is, one day you will die. But good doctors that postpone that. Again, we talked about be this before. Medicine is a practice. There is Thank no, practice. Thank there is you. no a private practice. way to heal someone because everybody is different. That's why cancer affects people in different ways. It is a practice and they don't know until someone dies. It's the same thing where aeronautics, just, you don't know that you need a black box until 60 planes have crashed and you don't know what's going what on. Talking about you don't know that you need a thermal mm. insulation in an uh, in astronaut suit until you go to Mars, I mean, go to the moon, like, fuck, it's cold as shit right, up here. Like, right. you don't know until these catastrophes <laughs> yeah. actually happen. Right. And it's fucked up, but that's the reality of it, though. Like, I mean, that's what you said about Unit 731 with human experiments. Yeah, like, you don't know until it's you It's a do. fact, bro. Yeah, man, you gotta cut that that's, wrist off. That's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you gotta just see. So to be like a a, a scientist that moves medicine forward, you probably have to do some fucked up. You got to do some fucked up. I'll see right. some fucked up shit. I'll be okay with some fucked your, up shit. Your, happening your scope of morality can't be based on it. Can't be ba- it can be egocentric based on like the person. It has to be based on like your like drive to know what's beyond and the truth that you know. Right. Forward. Right. Like, I don't excuse, know what would happen if you masturbate all day. Those, Fucking mad the, scientist. Speaking of no, which, no, 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 no. There was a thing. That that kid. Uh, there was a kid. There was. Uh, it was a black kid. They said he masturbated like fifty six times and died of a heart attack. Someone even came to his home to give him like the, the Guinness Award and everything. Which after masturbating sixty two times. Sixty two times. Here's the thing. On Valentine's so Day. So I said Jesus. this before. I don't know if I said it on this podcast, but having sex and having a heart attack have a lot of the same similar. Um, what is it? Characteristics. Mm-hmm. Heart rate increases. Your blood pressure increases. You go hypersensitive uh, to sound. Uh, your metatarsals and metacarpals are numb. Everything goes numb. They are literally your on paper rushes. the exact same thing. Minus or plus are yeah, added one. a couple characteristics. I this saw this in Portland 56 times. I thought it was a joke at first. I was like, oh shit. 56 man, times a... nonstop before dying of a heart attack. That's crazy, yeah. man. But he was also break, he also broke the world rec- record. That's crazy. And was awarded a world record certificate by Guinness. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. They came to the crib like after you, like basically after you died, like your son, congratulations to your dead son. But Um, he did jack off more than anybody else in history. In history. So he's a legend. My condolences. Also, congratulations. (laughs) And the guy, and the guy right before him. I'm so sorry. No one knows you now because this kid. So oh, uh, all all that effort. Exactly. Well, just to give him some clout. uh, Just to give him some 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 representation. Not some clout. Not clout. Uh, (laughs) Jerome. His name was Jerome Carpenter, and. I, apparently, oh, that sucks. He was suffering depression due to mm-hmm. due to being extremely lonely, uh, which you could probably piece together from jerking off five fifty six times in a row. In a row. Yeah. Um, I thought he was just motivated. He was Foolish. found. He was found dead. Uh, she said the mom called him down for lunch. Does it say how old he was? Mm-hmm. Teenager. That's what it says. Teenager. I'm assuming high school. No, this article doesn't. Um, but it says the young man was on his bed. His penis was detached from his body. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a second. Wait, what? Yeah, ripped it off? 
I, I guess maybe maybe that's why he died. Maybe like it just got to the point where the he shock? made. No, it was a heart attack. Yeah, maybe the but, shock from it. Yeah, like I the mean, shock like from like if seeing I go it. Probably like four times a day. I'm raw around there. Around that is this a tip. joke? Is this a joke? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I thought it was a joke too, bro. I thought it was a joke too. This might be a joke because I, it's I hope, saying that I his penis is. was detached from his body. It must have been so intense it came off his body. We found his penis gripped in his left hand. This sounds like a fake. I don't know. Hey, hey. I, I I I'm I'm gonna hope it is. That's that's what we're going. That's what we're doing. We're hoping it is. I have to. Know. That's the that's the problem with the internet. You can find anything that you want to prove or disprove on the same topic. I don't think this is true. I feel it's like fake. This oh, is thank fake. God. Okay, okay. I feel like this has to be fake. The same okay. picture. The I'm fact that it. his dick was in his hand. I don't, I don't believe it. And every every article is the exact same. I don't. Well, believe thank this. God. Okay. Please, well, please, well, please let us know if you guys have heard of this. Right, please. In um, the comments. I Sometimes. heard about it. I just didn't know if it was true. Um. Yeah. I don't think this. This isn't true. And his penis was in his hand. But it's on a lot of different web. Oh, it says hoax. It's okay. Yeah. So it's a fake one. Oh, it wasn't real. Woo! Well, no. This is a this is an article that thinks it's it's fake. But I I also believe that it's fake. Okay. But I do think that you can you know just don't you know Way too many go times, on Tinder. Right. No. Get a flashlight. Get a flashlight. Yeah. I don't think you'd get a heart attack Unless from that. should clean it up, though. Get a flashlight or a sex doll. And that funny. has been another episode <laughs> of <laughs> Damn Internet You Scary. Thank you guys so much for just putting up with just our, just our this. Cons- conspiracies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we close out, I had one conspiracy. I sent it to you last Please. night. Please. Can we, can we just do conspiracies this, all day? This, this one is, uh, what if rocks are really soft and they tense up when we touch them? No. <laughs> rocks no. are really salt? Soft. Oh. What if rocks are really salt? You know what, you know what disproves that? Hail. What do you mean? But that's ice. Hail. Hail's ice, though. That's but ice. It? It's frozen. You right. think frozen gonna be hard? It ain't rocks? <laughs> no, no, hail's ice. I, <laughs> I get, guess it gets hard no as rock. Sense. Nah, but it's, it's that was a weapon. As soon as you see the rock, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, what about volcanoes? What if, what if, but what if rocks can like really spew out rocks and they destroy stuff? So technically, they would bounce not, off not the until stuff if they like were soft. I will say not until it like what's it called it hits something. But it says we touch. But the heat it hardens to things too, huh? The heat hardens things too, like a burnt In science. Biscuit. I thought we were talking about way outside of science, where a rock would be soft and it would tense up from us touching. You mean it. like after we touch it the first time, then it like stays hard? No, 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 no. Well, no, it just no, it's like it senses every time you finna come. It'd be like ah. That's why I a volcano, that. which That's funny. volcanoes shoot That's out really rocks funny. before we touch them. Okay, okay. Well, how about this one? How yeah. about this one? <laughs> you ever heard your name called in a room, but nobody around you called your name? Yes. What if that was yourself trying to get your own attention in an alternate universe? Yes. Yes. Or, you ever felt like somebody called your name? Or like, or like, like nobody was around or nobody knew you around to know your name, but you know you heard it? Like that deja like what if that was somebody kind of in an alternate universe? Trying to get your attention. It's like Patrick. I hey, help. Like what would right. what would like, that turn be? Turn around. Be like ah, he saw. Right. He heard me. He's trying to just trying to warn you for something in the future. Right. And you're like, don't go fuck her, Nick. Right. Patrick. Like, you got the condoms in your pocket. <laughs> that comes up as a, comes up as a feeling. <laughs> uh, I knew I'd do it. <laughs> That's crazy. I knew I would do it. Ah, so <laughs> oh, oh, damn good. it. Both well, thank universes. you guys for tuning in, man. Another <laughs> episode of Damn Internet, She's Scary. I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. Thank Definitely. you so much to our guests. Thank you to our guest Gumby. We'll see you guys next time. And make sure to check out our Patreon and buy you some shirts. You know what I'm talking about? Buy you some shirts. Oh. Yes, indeed. And hit me up on Instagram at Gumby, G-V-M-B-Y, or YouTube.com slash Malik ACF. It's my Twitch. You'll, you'll find me. We gotta get better at doing that. For black, black nerd stuff. <laughs> Blurds, yeah. Get okay. it. Blurds. Get it.